Sometimes we get tossed and turned, we get battered by the storms of life, you know. Sometimes your sails get beaten and battered and torn, and you get put through the ringer. He says, Lord, Lord, why me? But brothers and sisters, instead of saying, why me? He says, Lord, I just pray that you just let your anchor just hold for me throughout this year's storm. Because we serve an awesome God who is able, brothers and sisters. And we just pray today that your anchor through Jesus Christ will hold. Amen. Of course. This one went out to the family uh, of um, Colin, to Colin Carter and family. And of course, condolences coming to you from Albert Lewis and family. Also, the Christiana High School alumni. It's now 2.37. One minute late, Wiz. <laughs> All right, we are in the segment, the love segment right now. And um, uh, before we go into Pastor Wiz's love segment right here, I'm going to tell you that coming from Proverbs 19, in Proverbs 19, verse 11, it tells us that a person's insight gives him patience, and his virtue is to overlook an offense. Pastor Wiz will now tell us how love delays anger. One of the best tools for keeping anger at bay is to have premeditated responses in place to match any offense that could arise. What if your spouse were to forget your birthday or anniversary, for example? What would be the best way to handle that? You could choose ahead of time that if such a thing were to happen, you would not let it send you off a deep end of anger. Psalm 78, in recalling God's dealings with his people, mentions that the ancient Israelites were deceptive, unfaithful, and persistent in their sinning, yet he was compassionate. He atoned for their guilt and did not destroy them. He often turned his anger aside and did not unleash all his wrath. Verse 38, he chose to delay his anger, coming down on the side of patience and compassion. We too can determine in advance that we will not let any slight on our spouse's part elicit an anger response. Prepare to be patient. Folks get upset, family members get upset when you forget their birthdays and anniversaries and stuff like that. Well, yeah, and, and sometimes, you know, rightfully so, but at the same time, you know, we have to learn to display patience with folks, especially our spouse, you see, because we're only human, and, and, and sometimes people make mistakes. And I'm sure that if uh, the spouse was angry, uh, uh, really look into himself or herself. They will see that there were times when they took those things. And so uh, one of the ways that we can do this is by having uh, premeditated responses in place to match any offense that could arise. You know, you, you, you formulate in your mind, you know, ways by which things could happen that could occur that could hurt your feelings, but at the same time, you're going to display that patience and that discipline to say, okay, but if this happens, then instead of doing A, I can do and, and, and we can determine in advance to display that patience. And by doing so, you will be able to hold together your marriage, hold together that relationship, and be the glue that really bonds it together and look beyond the falls and see the need. And I think, too, another thing is if you are angry about something, um, it's best to wait. Mm -hmm. To just wait until you pull off. Just calm down. Calm down. Just it give it a day or so, because sometimes, you know, it, you know, I think it's it's human, you know, to think um, that we should remember that it's my birthday. Mm -hmm. But um, given what's happening now with people getting, um, having so much to do, mm -hmm. you know, you're running here, you're running there, and with the, with the pressures of life, mm -hmm. you sometimes forget things don't want to, but it happens. And, and because of that also, the person who is neglected becomes agitated. And most of the time, when uh, that person becomes agitated, usually uh, it's because you know, there is something else there that is not really... Not all the time, not all the time. People just, um, I mean, you wouldn't want me to remember your birthday. Well, of course. You know, and well, if I forget, I know it's human. I think it's human, but you have to say to yourself, you know, well, maybe something else is happening with her because this is not like her. Okay, so that's the reason why you don't go off the deep end. Right, right. See, that's what I'm trying to say. Right. You know, okay, fine, so she forgot. Okay, 
but because you're going to display all the patients. And I said, well, that's not the right So, given, you know, that gives you enough reason not to go off the deep end and just, you know, blaze up and just carry on. You know, because then it's going to make matters worse. That's right. And him or she forgetting the birthday doesn't mean that there's not love. That the person no. is not um, in love with you or the person no. loves you. Maybe if you are loving even though it's your birthday that the person has forgotten. By showing love, not by saying, okay, she forgot me for that birthday. Um, let me display some love to him. Let me find out what is going on with him. No, if something that keeps going on and happening no, that's every a year, different story. every year, it's <laughs> and that's a different story. <laughs> that's a different story. <laughs> and we hope you certainly don't come into that story. Yeah, okay. But, you know, we just want to, uh, you know, let you know that, you know, we, we can display patience with folks especially with our spouse, even in a situation where you know, it would seem as if your spouse you know, has forgotten about the special day. All right, so there you have it this afternoon, folks. Um, it's now 2.42. We are getting up to that time. We have a guest specialist coming up. Um, we have um, immigration lawyer, Antoinette Russell, coming up. I want to just say a special shout-out to Vanny up there. Yeah. I want to say hi to Vanessa. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> and folks that uh, missed this segment, if you want to tell your friends about it, you can go to YouTube. Um, oh, right now, it uh, will be even later on this afternoon at Wisdom Sabbath video. You can just um, have your friends or family members view this pre-recorded segment right here on WAVS Radio. I want to thank you so much for hanging with us this afternoon uh, throughout this love segment. Stand by for a lot more.